Uh, good day friends, welcome back to the channel. It's given again from Techno Drive. Uh, today we've got the grow at inverter. It came from Zanin. So it came with a uh, Korea guy as usual. You can see there. So it took a day for us to receive an inverter from Zanin. So if you check there, you can see that they shipped it on the 10th of September and then we received it on the 11th. So this is the inverter we are having today. So the model number of this one it's um, SPF 5000 ES. So that's the inverter that we are dealing with today. So on today's topic we're going to deal more with microcontrollers and microprocessor. We're going to see the difference between the microcontroller and the microprocessor because this inverter has got a fault on the microcontroller so the microcontroller is no longer functioning okay it takes long to boot up so normally when you connect power on the inverter it takes less than 20 seconds the inverter should be on but this one it takes more than that so it takes about a minute just to boot up and also it has got a 02 alarm so i'm going to explain why we have that 02 and also why it's taking long okay let's connect power i think it's better if i switch on the stopwatch so that you can see uh, how long it takes for this inverter to actually come on okay i've got a stopwatch on the side there so this is the stopwatch we're going to check how long it takes for the inverter to put out i'm going to connect power now let's start the stopwatch you can see the three lights are on so the inverter is still trying to boot up so this screen normally just show for a few seconds a second or so and then goes away but this one you see it's taking long it's very slow it shouldn't be like this you can see this second screen it's a software version of the inverter and the software version of the BMS card the communication card You can see the inverter is not yet on once the inverter is on we will see the voltages and the sign you can see there now the inverter is on let's pause you can see that the, it, it, it took one minute 19 seconds for the inverter to show this screen so what do you think is it okay i don't think so this is not right and also we are having error 02 okay I've got the screws all out let's just uh, take out the power I'm sure you already know the control card this is the control card this is the card that has got the processing power uh, and then if there's a problem with the processing speed and all that the problem is here let's uh, take out the card Okay, here is our card. Uh, let me bring a little bit closer so that I can explain more. 
So this is the card for Growart Inverter. This is the card that we just removed from that uh, inverter. So we've got error two, and also the inverter is taking too much long to switch on or to boot up. So this is a microcontroller. This chip here, it's a microcontroller. It, it's, it's basically like the brain of the inverter. So on the card, you also have the op amps. You see, these are operational amplifiers, op amps. And this side here, you've got the IGBT drivers and the MOSFET drivers. So these ones, they, they, it's basically in, these are inputs. So here, this is your power supply. The power will come in here, and then it will be supplied onto the microcontroller. This side, this one is the controller for the parallel card. You can see the connection here, it goes straight here. So this is the chip that controls the parallel card. So this chip here, this one, it's an EEPROM. All of the settings will come here onto this chip. So this is the memory chip. So what's the difference between microprocessor and microcontroller? This is a microcontroller. It's not a microprocessor. It's a microcontroller. Let me show you on this image. You can see, and then I can explain a little bit further. Uh, but before we go into that, let me explain a little bit about that zero two. You saw it. it was, this inverter was giving zero two. So since we've got op amps here and some resistors and other things so your, your your temperature sensors will come on these pins so there will be a comp comparison on the op amp then you're gonna have the output to the microcontroller so obviously that zero two it's linked with this card so if we change this card we'll be able to solve those two problems where uh, the, the, the the inverter will be fast and also the zero two alarm will be gone. So let's uh, check the difference between microcontroller and microprocessor. So on inverters we have microcontrollers, uh, but on uh, other electronics like your TVs, your computers, you use microprocessor. So this is a microprocessor side, and this is a microcontroller. So on the microcontroller, the main difference is that the microcontroller has got a ROM and a RAM inside the chip. So that's very important. These ICs, if you change them, like for instance, this is a micro microcontroller. If we change this microcontroller, since it has got a ROM and a RAM inside, so the ROM has got a program or the firmware of the inverter. So you can't just get a new microcontroller and install it here if it has got, it has got a problem. Because it has got what? It has got the ROM. So the ROM is a read-only memory. So that ROM is the one that's going to give you problem because it has got the firmware inside. So if you buy the new microcontroller, it will be blank. Then you won't win. You see, but the microprocessor. Let me show you the difference. Uh, I've got a micro a board with a microprocessor here. Yeah. Okay, you see this one. This is the board for the television. Okay, so this one is using a microprocessor. It's not a microcontroller. So this one we can change the the the, the microprocessor because. The program is not stored there inside the microprocessor. The program or the firmware, it's saved on this big chip here. So this chip is the one that saves the program. So if you change this chip, you can win. You can be able to get the TV to work again. But on inverters, you have to change the card because the program is inside the chip, this chip.
So once you try and change that chip, there's no way that you're going to win because the, the, the program will be lost. The new chip will come blank. Sometimes you can get the another card with the same chip. If you take that chip and install it, it might not work. Why? Because the program is not the same. So you have to get the same same card if you want to change the chip. So on the television, it's possible to change the, 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 the micro processors. You can see I've got a whole lot of microprocessors since we do repair TVs as well. So these are micro processors. We do change them and they, 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 they come right. But with the inverters, there's no way that you can, you can change the, the chip and uh, you still win. So there's a programmer that we use normally, but uh, we don't really use that because of the security reason. You see this chip, it's, pro it's, it's, it's protected inside, so you can't copy the program and install it there. So it's be just better to, to change the, the card. So this one is the board from the TV as well. You saw that the other board, the microprocessor, didn't have these external ICs it's because some of the microprocessor, the RAM, it's inside. So this one, the RAM, it's outside. These these chips are the random yeah. access memory. You've got the EMMC here. So this one is the one that stores the firmware. So it's same as the other board. The firmware is stored outside. So this is the one that stores the firmware. So this is the smart TV board, board. So that's the difference. So on inverters, there's no way that we can change the microcontroller because of the program. So this one is a microcontroller from the inverter. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna change this card. Then I'm sure we're gonna be able to sort out this problem. Let me get another card. Get another card. Okay, let me zoom out. Okay, with me here I've got two cards. This is the broken card. This is the one that was giving uh, too much problem. Error 2 and it's low. And this is the new one. This is the one that we're going to use to replace that one. So let's install it and see how it goes. I think it's easier if we connect the cables first. And let's connect the display. You remember on that uh, first shot, the inverter took a long time to switch on. So I'm going to start the clock again so that we can see with a new card if that has uh, solved the problem. Uh, let's switch on the clock. Okay, so the inverter took one minute to boot up. So now we're going to start the clock again. Let me switch on the inverter. How many minutes? The inverter is already on. So for us to get the sign for the inverter and the output it took, there we go, We've got 24 seconds. So if you compare 24 seconds with one minute, that card was not right. 
also that error 2 is gone. So that error 2 was caused by the card as well. So the microcontroller was, was no longer okay. So it took uh, 24 seconds for the inverter to boot up and be in function. So this is the problem. This is the card that we have changed. So I'm sure maybe in future you will come across something like this. So this is what you need to do. Change the card, then the inverter will be okay. Thank you very much. You can see now the inverter, there's no alarm. Battery voltage is okay. So we're gonna test all other functions, but so far it looks okay. So the, uh, the error that the inverter came with, it's gone now. It's even faster to switch on. Let's switch off again and switch on. You saw when it started, it showed some 888 for a long time. Let's see how long it shows that, those 888 there how many seconds just one second then it's gone then it's on the inverter screen so the inverter is okay now we sorted it hope you like the video thank you very much for watching again and i um, hope to see you on the next video thank you